your belly feels good. How do you feel? Uh, it's been a little rough. It's been just gurgles and bloated pain. Hold oh, that up. It's kind of connected. Oh, okay. That's good. Had a pretty substantial amount of output. Yeah. Um, yeah, another five liters in the last 24 hours. So, I mean, if I drink very much of anything, then I get a constricted, kind of bloated feeling, and I'm compelled to kind of lean onto my left for a bit, and then onto my right, and then sometimes I'll get some gas bubbles out of the stoma. I don't really know exactly how that all works. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Your belly looks good, stoma looks good, the output looks like what? We want, and it's not that clear, it's still really is. What, what I think we do, and we'll talk with Dr. Paydock, of course, but what I think we do is just put you on some fluid, so uh, scheduled replacement fluid so you don't get dehydrated, and then I've done the one bolus so far today already, yeah one liter this morning we're going to do it that every eight hours your output's measured and anything above 400 gets replaced with a with a one-to-one -one of fluid okay. okay um probably gonna get just a x-ray of the abdomen not a ct but an x-ray just to see what the bowel gas pattern looks like mm -hmm. okay um I don't think you have any obstruction going on. Okay. Um, my guess would be, excuse me, my guess would be either this is just a fairly proximal or upstream stoma, which is making it to where it empties a lot because it doesn't travel down the river long enough to be absorbed. Does that make sense? Yeah. Or you're just still getting rid of stuff that's been backed up. Hmm. Okay? Yeah. And so we'll do that. We'll put it in for the replacement fluids. We will get an abdominal film just to check your bowel gas pattern. It's kind of a different pattern for obstruction and a different pattern versus ileus. Um, so that may help identify one or the other. Um, although I don't think instructions the deal um, and then and then just kind of self-regulate uh, as far as the eating or drinking goes we'll leave your diet the same but you if you feel nauseated I'm a little gun shy about actually eating anything if I did it'd be very soft and very small portion because you tried yesterday so, yeah and it made you feel nauseated that seemed to kick off the backing up of it no longer working. Yeah. Well, try, try, we'll make it to where you can try something solid if you want, mm -hmm. but, you know, stick to liquids. Applesauce, stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, whatever, whatever sounds good to you. Okay. Okay. How much um, fluid should I be drinking? Well, since we're going to be bolusing you, you know, uh, pretty much whatever sounds good to you because we'll keep you hydrated but uh, the equivalent about eight of those styrofoam cups in um, a day in a day in a 24-hour period is what a normal person should stay hydrated so with. that's the 64 over there yesterday I did 99 so not way out of whack but yeah. a little higher it feels good to drink, but if you do that, and then all of a sudden I just feel it go into my stomach and my stomach clamp up and get like tense and stuff, mm -hmm. that makes me nervous. Like it's tender right, right now. Really? Well, maybe just kind of stick towards the clears today. Okay. Hear that? Oh, that's go. good. That's yeah. good. Not uncommon. All right. 
I'm done. How are kidneys doing? They're fine. Huh. It creatinine went up a little bit today compared to yesterday. It's one point two eight today. It was one point oh eight yesterday. Is that good or bad? Neither. Okay. It's just means you're a little more dry today because of the five liters of output yesterday. But it's not it's still within the realm of normal, so it's okay. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I should be asking about. There's really not. Everything okay. else at this point is just conjecture. Keep walking around, take in the fluids or food you want to take in. It's just fluids, fine. Um, and we'll get the abdominal film. Sounds good. Okay. Cool. And we'll give you a fluid every eight hours if you need it. Sounds good. We'll bring Dr. Paydock by too. Any idea when I should expect that? Oh. Nine. Okay. Sounds good. She has three cases. I'm guessing she will come in between cases. Cool. Okay. Is there any chance that I'd be passing gas rectally at this point? Yes. Okay. Back in the day, because uh, I don't have a whole lot of control down there. Yeah. So I'll sit, get a little bit of mucus out. But back in the day, I did better with, like, on my hands and knees or something like that, trying to get gas out. Is that still appropriate? Um, um, I mean, you get can the try, gas. but you may make a mess. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. As long as you know that. But whatever works for you, people are different. I'm just wondering if part of all that gas pattern and everything down there could be gas below the stoma yeah, it doesn't really account for the high output you know I'm guessing the discomfort is associated with the high output you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. so, the high output is is that partly because it's just not absorbing as much or don't don't know that's what I'm saying if it's an if it's an obstruction it's not that it's not absorbing a lot it's just making a lot of fluid because it's irritating because it's obstructed if it's ileus, it's because it's not absorbing a lot. Okay. All right, we will see. Appreciate it. You're going to be fine. We'll get you through this. It's just taking longer. Cool. Do you mind giving my light? Sure. Thanks. See you.